We're here in Oakland, Illinois, where we've just had the pleasure of unboxing this brand new Formec New Form machine, which has been designed specifically with the American market in mind, as it's a 110 volt machine, which means it can be plugged in and it's ready to go. We can take sheet plastic and turn it into whatever it is that's in your imagination and whatever it is that you have designed. Today we're going to be working with teachers and students and showing them how vacuum forming isn't just limited to design and technology but actually transposes really well to other subjects. Nice. That's good. We tied it into our food curriculum. My culinary occupation students, they got pretty creative in how they made the molds. They chose what they wanted to make and they actually got to form the mold using the machine and then brought them back to the class and melted chocolate and then put the chocolate in the molds. We thought about doing fundraisers, so creating school-specific chocolates. We could even do suckers and wrap them up. Students really seemed to enjoy what was going on with that. We had a lot of neat ideas of how that could be implemented in the social studies classroom. We were thinking of using maps that had geographical features on them, different props that we could use when we do reenactments, perhaps masks that could be used in those reenactments as well. We attempted to make voting boxes that we could use during our mock elections that we have here at school. We tried to make this little music stand that clips onto an instrument, and it, and it came out really, really well. We were experimenting with the decorative instruments that we had on the wall, and this one turned out pretty well. It fit well, and it was pretty exciting for the students to get to watch that. I found it very easy to use. I made my own gorilla head here. There could be a lot of applications and uses with some mascots and some team spirit items and stuff like that would be a great way to use it. Um, and I, I also see the translation to my sport of uh, football with the helmets and the shoulder pads and the, the protective gear. We used it with my public speaking class, so we did masks for it. It would be really nice like for English class because we do Romeo and Juliet and Shakespearean plays it. They would have worn masks since they were all male performers or actors in those days. Reader's Theater that we looked at today relates to that. They had some great ideas about the application, which has really inspired us as we further develop resources which tie in directly with their curriculum. We're going to get people even more excited about vacuum forming, not only here in Oakland, but also across the rest of America.